Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to the uh, end of the weekend. Sunday night update here is upon us. 9.57 p.m. California time. January 26, 2025 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the earthquake uh, map shows some movement right uh, pretty close to the Nankai Trough. We've been chatting about this for uh, a little while. Looks like we got some further movement here with a 4.4 earthquake coming into the region here within the last hour. Taking a look at the last uh, 24 hours here, earthquake activity on the globe. Alaska seeing some movement uh, as well with a 5.6 along the Aleutian Trench. There's that uh, trail of activity here across the Taiwan region, Japan. Uh, putting that Nankai trough right there in the uh, major hazard zone in terms of stress and uh, pressurization here from the plates. Just uh, keep an eye on that. We've been chatting about it a lot. It still looks possible that we're going to see something big uh, strike in that region soon. Uh, pretty good earthquake trail here across the Java Trench all the way through the Indonesia Islands area down into Vanuatu. Pretty good uh, adjustment going on. Nothing big, but uh, we do have a number of uh, quakes here today. It's notable on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, New Zealand, a handful of earthquakes. Nothing big happening there for now. Threes, and uh, looks like there was another three-pointer down here across the uh, South Island area on the uh, Alpine Fault, I believe. 4.9 earthquake down here across the uh, Antarctica and the Australia plate boundary. That uh, is a divergent boundary activity, meaning a separation here of the seafloor. That uh, could be why we're seeing a lot of activity further up north along this plate boundary. That uh, tends to happen. We'll continue to watch that for some further activity. All I know is things are starting to ramp back up here across this area of the globe. A similar to what we've seen here a few days ago when things were just busy with earthquakes. I mean, that's this is still a lot of earthquakes here in the last 24 hours, so got to be on guard. Uh, for the West Coast, let's go ahead and check out California here, see if we got anything major going on. A little swarm of activity, but this is really not a swarm. This is just the USGS uh, actually mentioning now. I, I don't know whether it's me or maybe somebody else called in. Uh, they're actually mentioning the smaller quakes now. Uh, into the Northern California area before. Uh, since that seven pointer struck, they were only showing like one seven pointer out of every 30 or 40 that struck here. Or one um, train of thought. They were only showing about one a one pointer, right? <laughs> a seven pointer uh, for every 40 earthquakes that struck out here. So, um, you know, there was way more than that. But I'm just glad that they're adding the uh, smaller quakes here on the map now. Gives us a, a good uh, idea of what's going on out here. And there's a little bit of earthquake activity. Got about, uh, what do we got, Tw nine earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Nothing big. 4.1, the largest there across that area of Northern California. Uh, pretty much a triple point boundary. Pretty sensitive area, though. The Cascadia subduction zone just sits right up here, the southern end. Uh, for the trimmer map tonight, we've got about uh, 67 epicenters of trimmer. Mainly underneath uh, Oregon. Nothing there to report for Northern California for now. Some smaller quake activity up through Washington. Really nothing big. There's that older earthquake from this morning up in Canada, 4.2. Bay Area pretty quiet. Southern California. Let's go ahead and zoom in, see what we have here for the latest activity. Uh, 2.9 just off the San Andreas Fault here. That makes, uh, I don't know how many earthquakes there now of uh, magnitude 2.5 and above. Looks like we got about five of them here close on that uh, plate boundary. You can almost follow this trail of earthquakes there, leading me to believe that this area is getting quite strained. And that is the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, got to watch that. Obviously, uh, it, it could pop at any given time. Who knows when? Another earthquake right on the San Andreas Fault here uh, following this movement earlier, 1.5. So just be on guard. Things starting to move out here across Southern California again. The rest of the country, pretty quiet. Nothing major going on there, aside from oil field activity. And uh, the largest magnitude here going to be a 5.6 earthquake up along the Aleutian Trench here in the last 24 hours. That was earlier this afternoon. Really no new earthquake activity to report following that movement. Further across Alaska, typical microquake activity up there today. Really nothing big going on. Uh, let's go check out the Big Island of Hawaii, see if there's anything of interest out there. 
Uh, I believe we're at the pause right now in terms of the eruption status. Still uh, quite a bit of glow out there in the lava field, but that's about it. There's really no change there across the area. I'm sure eventually we'll come back here in a couple days and see the return of the eruption across that region. Just due to the current level of inflation happening there uh, following the uh, following the eruption end. <clears throat> a lot of activity here. Quite a bit. So keep an eye here on this region. It's been uh, pointing to something big out here recently. Something soon, I believe. Um excuse me goodness will i ever be back to normal it's been a heck of a winter i don't know what's going on out here in the air but something something's going on um flare threats going down the current flare level pretty low and that's due to uh, a number of sunspots that have disappeared off the uh, western limb the active regions anyway and we're left with a whole lot of nothingness out here some very scattered sunspots really not capable of producing any type of stronger flaring so we should see this uh, pretty much flat line here for a little bit before maybe some active regions out there. It looks like a sea flare coming in right now on the far side, eastern limb. There's a sunspot not quite visible, but obviously it's flaring. A couple different regions here should come into the Earth-directed view in the coming days. Uh, far as uh, weather patterns out here, Southern California dealing with some valley rain, some mountain snow there across the grapevine it looks like as well. I uh, got uh, a lot of cold air with that system. That's going to interact with some warmer, moist air and some high dew points out here for this time of year for the Texas and Oklahoma area, bringing with it severe weather threat. So we'll have to check on that as we get a little bit closer to the Wednesday and Thursday time period. Rain returns to California as we head towards early uh, next weekend. Looks like this may be a, a pattern out here of some decent moisture returning back to the California area. Some of these rainfall accumulation maps here oh well, this only goes for 120 hours so we're not able to see uh, that far in the future but it's there at least on the gfs model um all right folks i'm out of here just want to jump on do a quick update uh, uh, you know again keep an eye on things we've got uh, a lot going on out here in the earthquake world we've got a lot of areas that are under quite a bit of strain all areas around it moving i mean nothing going on here across this area so um, it's got to be building up strain here for the for uh, a bigger quake. 4.1 way up into, uh, let's see, where is that? Maybe northern China, maybe Mongolia area, it looks like. Uh, Mongolia region, 4.1, latest earthquake. Uh, Ethiopia rift boundary, really nothing major going on there for now. Uh, I don't see any earthquake activity showing up, but man, there's a heck of a lot of earthquakes here across this area of the globe today. I mean, look at that. That's uh, some massive movement going on out here. I still think we got uh, some mega quake potential here in the near term. We'll catch you guys out here tomorrow morning, Monday. Goodness. We'll see you guys back here then.